and gentlemen, I'm Professor Norman Cornett, religious studies scholar, art critic, and curator. I specialize in the relationship between aesthetics and spirituality, that is to say, between the fine arts and spirituality. And here is the work of Janine Boutillier. She entitled it The Big Bang. And she has every reason to do so because there is something cosmological about this work by Janine Boutillier. As though we were looking at the origins of the universe. At the same time, when we look at it, we can see constellations. We can see stars in the sky, to the point that I would consider this work astronomical, as though this were a work through the Hubble telescope looking into the soul of the universe. That's where Janine Boutillier takes us with the Big Bang. And she does it through loud colors. This is a work that is present chromatically, that affirms its presence through these colors, an orgy of colors, as though literally all the elements of the universe had exploded. There is something explosive about Janine Boutillier's The Big Bang. And she's captured it here. She's encapsulated that explosive, creative, cosmological moment that gave birth to the universe. And like the universe, it's infinite. It's never ending. It's more than we can comprehend or wrap our minds around. This is a labyrinth of the universe, a labyrinth of Janine Boutillier's imagination. Literally, colors rain down from the heavens as we see in this work, and they, they circulate. They swirl, they shift, and there's something shift shaping, almost in the sense of native art and the idea of shift shaping, something we want to grasp but could never hold for more than a nanosecond. And in fact, I'd have to say that there is something very musical about this work. When I look at it, I think of the 1960s song, Starry, Starry Night, because we're looking at the stars. Or again, the Beatles, Judy in the sky with diamonds. There's something as though here, all the stars are burning bright against the backdrop of the infinite universe, the cosmos that has no end. This is not a black hole because it's not absence, it's presence, it's density, as though we're looking at a concentration of heavy matter. At the same time, there is something that brings me back as a historian to a very famous work created in May 1889 in um, an asylum of a monastery. And it was Vincent van Gogh, the Dutch post-impressionist painter who from his chamber, from his room, looked through the window and put into painting what 
in that monastery, in that asylum, and in that room gave flight to his imagination. He titled the work, The Starry Night. And indeed, it's considered the masterpiece of Vincent van Gogh, the Dutch post-impressionist painter. There is a basal dialogue between Vincent van Gogh's The Starry Night and Janine Boutillier's The Big Bang. Something that takes us beyond the asylum, beyond the, man the monastery, beyond the sky, beyond the stars. Because underlying this work is mysticism. There is a mystical experience that's inexplainable, that's inexplicable, and yet we feel it through the Big Bang of Janine Boutillier. All the stars, all the constellations, all the solar systems. In fact, she is presenting us her own supernova. I invite you, ladies and gentlemen, to discover the art of Janine Boutillier. I'm Professor Norman Cornett, religious studies scholar, art critic, and curator. Mm -hmm.